Hey guys, it's Patrick here and today we're going to talk about the 5G network that's coming to Australia and how it might affect the NBN. Hello darling. Oh, <laughs> and the NBN. <laughs> and also, obviously, how it might affect the NBN rollout, how it might affect the 4G network, how it might affect your actual internet usage or potentially uh, actually better your internet usage. So, first of all, let's talk about what it is um, and w what's actually going to happen, right? So the 5G network is obviously the next generation from the 4G network, what most of our phones are using now. I mean, I remember when 3G came out and all of a sudden you could, you could see web pages, you could load videos, you could download 99 cent music uh, from the Apple iTunes store. Um, but 4G obviously was the better version of it. You could finally stream a lot of video at costs that were quite reasonable at the time and now only are getting better on mobile plans. Hey, stay tuned for that video. We're gonna go through the best mobile plans you can get right now uh, for our generation, the younger folks. And actually, uh, I'll, I'll look into doing one for the older generation who only maybe need calls and texts. The 4G plans that we have now are a lot better, a lot more affordable, and the internet that we use on it is becoming a lot faster and the latency is being uh, brought down low. And I'll, I'll talk about the latency in a second because it's a big plus of the 5G network. Now look, 4G internet has been used wildly in Europe. It's, it's actually probably the biggest thing you can get. And most of my family members in Europe are actually using uh, 4G as their general internet. So it kind of took over what we would call NBN here, their internet. However, there is a caveat. So 4G does not have the best latency. It's not often the most stable speed because of the location. Sometimes you don't even get very good reception on your mobile phone. So how do you expect your internet to work as smoothly with devices like your computer or your gaming computer or even just streaming some Netflix? Well, that probably work quite well, but browsing websites might be quite slow because of the latency. Latency is the speed of communication between you and the other website, you and the other person on the other side in regards to gaming uh, and so on. So you want the lowest latency for the better connection, for better speed of a reaction time. So 5G is the next version and this version is bringing a lot of benefits. Now I'm not going to go into the health side of things of 5G because personally I don't have any experience with it and all the stuff on the internet that you'll find has both sides. It's either harmful or not. I really don't want to go into it. I want to stay away with it, but it is a different band. It allows for 30 times the speed of 4G or 60. It's uh, some sources say 30 times, some sources say 60. The latency will be about five times lower. So let's say you've got a latency of 15. Uh, it might be about four on the 5G network. And the biggest thing for, I suppose, telcos is the fact that you can have a lot more devices on the same network. So congestion will almost be halved, which is a great thing since society cities, places, people, there's a lot more of them, there's a lot more people at the same tower, and it means that you can have a lot more people on the same network, and your infrastructure doesn't necessarily have to change, in fact, it could get smaller. You can have more towers that are smaller in more areas, and therefore reaching more people. And again, let's ignore the health stuff for now. So that's the benefits of 5G. However, right now, there is not actually that many 5G devices. And secondly, uh, actually there's really none. And Samsung will probably be the first. And somebody like iPhone, iPhone, somebody like Apple is gonna be very much on the back bench on this. They've stated they will not be rolling out a 5G device anytime soon. So you're going to have to wait if you're on an iPhone. In any case, the whole point is that don't buy into, this is a bit of a tip, don't buy into a 5G device now because by the time it's wildly available in your country, in your area, if you're not in a major city, for example, there'll be newer, better phones by then. So early adopters will pick it up and if they handle their phone well, they might get it in a year or two. Um, but again, it's not necessarily um, something you need to buy now. And secondly, it's not like a chicken and egg thing. Telcos aren't not going to develop 5G just because people aren't buying 5G devices. It's better for them to have a 5G network because of said benefits, lower prices on their towers, less maintenance, uh, more people on the same network. 
but the prices might change a little bit because they might try and charge a premium for a 5G connection. So what does it mean for Australia? Well, first of all, 5G provides a lower air latency, faster speeds, and it could mean better coverage. So fixed wireless plans are coming soon. And it's a huge thing, especially with the NBN being a terrible, terrible, well, waste of money so far, and it hasn't connected all the people. Check out my video on the progress that NBN has done so far in the comments below, um, but it's just not there yet. So 5G, if implemented quickly enough, and it's much easier to implement than NBN or fixed wireless, which at the moment is only available to regional areas, it's faster and it will be hopefully wildly available. So why wouldn't you pick it up? So this is a quite a big thing. This is a huge debate between 5G and the NBN. Why waste money on the NBN when 5G is right around the corner and could serve such an easy and fast purpose and apparently potentially great speeds? Well, there's a lot of benefits to having a fixed line. Gaming is a huge thing, but again, with an latency this low at four, that's what I get on the copper line. So. It will mean that there will be huge competition and telcos are just going to get more money because people will be dropping the NBN. They probably won't even care that it gets connected and the government will probably come out and say, hey, everybody's going wireless, why bother doing the NBN at all? Will it replace the NBN? Probably not. Will it slow down the implementation of the NBN? Kind of. People are going to make excuses. Some people that don't understand why you need fixed lines. But in any case, 5G is just around the corner. Don't go out buying a device right away. Wait for the actual network to be live. It's supposed to be starting at the first quarter of 2019 in Australia. So hopefully the rollout will go smooth and we'll get more and more towers and then more and more devices. But do expect telcos to be providing internet through the 5G network and do expect that people will buy it. I, I will not be surprised how much of a good deal it could be, uh, except they will probably charge through the nose for the amount of data. That's why fixed lines will always have the better data, unlimited almost, and provide a very stable service, notwithstanding the issues you get with ADSL or even NBN. Guys, thank you very much for watching my little video about the 5G network. I hoped it gave you a little bit more information about what's happening right now. This video will probably not last for a while because I'll probably follow it up with how the 5G network is doing right now in regards to when it is actually rolled out and there is some devices to actually test out. Thank you very much for watching, like, subscribe, let me know what you think about the 5G network and let's answer that question together. Will you be getting it instead of the NBN? Are you gonna buy a 5G internet connection for your home? Are you gaming? Are you streaming? Are you doing all sorts of crazy stuff? Will you want a 5G network connection? Guys, catch you another one.